Hey, what's good, family? Shortcut Data said, hey, Matthew, could you make a video talking about when, why you look at different time intervals? Is it best to do technical analysis at a specific interval? Also, I'm wondering at what time of day you take trades. Normal market hours, pre, post, market, thanks. And, and because of that, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at what time frames I trade on and why. And then after that, we're going to go over when I usually take my trades. All right, so here we are, we are in trading view, and this is how my charts look in default. The majority of the time that I am looking at trends, looking at the charts, I'm on the four hour chart, and that is simply just because of the amount of time I want to be in my trades. Just the way I like to spend my time, I don't wanna have to spend all my mental energy staring at the charts, so I try to find trades that I can take on the four hour and ideally get in one day, get out the next. Sometimes it takes more than going from one day to the next, but ideally I get in one day and I can take profit the next or continue to ride some sort of trend. So because of that, I like to trade on the four hour just because if you see something occur on the four hour in order to get a trading day, it's gonna be two of the candles. So you can look at this and this that's a trading day. So by the time you get a pullback to a certain level, you find a trend. So for instance, start of the trends right here. I wouldn't be in the trade yet. You get the next touch kind of right here. Still wouldn't be in the trade, but now the trade has been identified. It comes up, then we kind of consolidate and come and test the trend line. And then from here, it's like, okay, I can get in the trade and ride it to profit. So from here, 64, up to the next real level of resistance is over here, like looking back up to about 67. So that's about a two and a half dollar move. Nothing too crazy, honestly, but as, as long as I'm able to enjoy my life and I continue to move forward with these trades, this is cool for me. All right, so that's why I'm predominantly on the four hour, but coming on, looking at the other time frames I trade on, when it comes to day trading, uh, pretty much anything down from the one hour to about five minutes are the time frames I look at. Looking at today, a market open mid somewhere on this long, along these lines. So I can see right now on the one hour, we're still bullish. I wouldn't make trades. I wouldn't take a trade from here, but this just kind of gives me a picture of how are we looking on the day? Because if I drop down to the 15 minute and take a look, market opened up at about 5.59. All right, we came up, came down, coming back up, and we're coming back down. Now we're kind of testing this trend line. So going back to the one hour, this just gives me kind of an overall idea of, hey, how are we actually moving? All right, so that's how I look at the one hour. I don't necessarily trade on it, but I use it to get a picture of what's, what's going on for the day. All right, I don't use the 30 hour too much. Sometimes I'll skim over it. Don't really use that. 15 minute is, I use this time frame looking at supply and demand. Sometimes I will use this to kind of look for trends. For instance, say we we're breaking this trend line right now. Say we close below on this. I will consider taking an entry once we close below on this. All right, I also, Sometimes I'll look at 10 minute candles, don't use those as much, but I'll also drop down to the five minute and say, okay, how are we doing on this? And just see, hey, what's going on on the five minute? That may not be the most detailed, but yeah, the time frames I predominantly use five, 15, one hour, four hour. And then I'll use the weekly as well to get a sense of whenever the market has moved, um, larger amount things and things have gotten volatile uh, this right here is the spy on a weekly chart so as of right now just going off of what i see uh, if i really want to slow it down and take some more longer term trades some trades that i may expect to be in for weeks or maybe even a couple months that's where i look here so right now we are in a supply zone I would expect us to come back down to at least retest this 535 area. I would expect us to sell off. When is it going to happen? I don't know. 
but that's just something I would kind of expect. It looks like we may be forming some sort of double top. So ultimately, I use each time frame to paint a picture. I'll be on the larger ones to uh, just get an overall picture of what's going on. As the time frames get lower, I'm trying to make money in between that because if I were to highlight this candle right here and then go down to the four hour, all this happened in that single candle. And if we move that actually to 15 minutes, all this happened in that single candle, whereas that single candle was just straight up. This, you have a trend going up, but you also have kind of consolidations, pullbacks, continuations, consolidations, pullbacks, consolidations, pullbacks once again. So you get different stories on different time frames. Uh, ultimately, if I'm day trading, it'll be the five, the 15, and the one hour. If I'm trying to swing it throughout the day, that's typically when I use the one hour. Otherwise, if I'm trying to get in and get out, it'll usually be me using the 15 minute chart as more of the forecasting tool and the five minute as my entry and kind of looking at the trend. So if I'm trying to go for a quick 10, 30 percent, something like that, uh, sometimes that's why I go for on the four hour chart as well. But if I'm trying to go for a quick something small percentage wise, uh, that's that's when I happen on the day trades. Now, when it comes to when I normally take my trades, normally my trades are going to be the first hour and a half to two hours of the day. Uh, the middle of the day, kind of not much goes on typically. And then usually about the last two hours to an hour, that's another time frame that I will find is a good time to enter the trade. Just because throughout the day, if the stock doesn't move, stocks will trade slow, uh, move at a much lower volume. And to anyone holding options, that's when you don't want to be in contracts. So in summary, most of my swing trades that do well, I usually grab them within the last one to two hours before market close. And usually whenever it comes to a trade that I swing, normally if I'm taking profits on it, it's usually going to be in the morning that I take those profits because oftentimes there'll be a spike in the price, either to the upside or downside, depending on what it does. There's often a violent move one direction, before it quickly goes the other direction. And usually the way it is in the mornings is better if you see those profits to take them. So yeah, this hasn't been the most organized video, but I hope I was able to answer your questions. Those are the time frames I trade on. I usually trade in the first two hours of the day, last two hours of the day. When it comes to entering a trade, if I'm entering a day trade in the morning, I find it's usually better to get in 15 minutes after the market opens, just because most of the time stocks move so fast that you're not really able to capitalize off it, especially if you're trading options. A lot of times by the time you get in the trade, the trade could be gone just because of how fast the stock price is moving. If you found this video to be helpful or learn anything, be sure to smash the like button. If for some reason you made it this far and haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off. And I want to change your life.